So, hey guys, you're uh, you're receiving this uh, information because uh, there's a pretty serious matter at hand. Um, obviously, uh, NZR has pushed out a uh, notification around um, a new bill that's been put out to uh, replace the RMA. Uh, there's three three actual bills that are going to put it out, so we're, we're getting three for a three for one. Um, the RMA has been um, going for around 30 years now, and um, and it's well and truly past its use by date. So now, and from a national sense. Uh, they're looking to change the RMA or replace it with three three bills. And I thought I'd use this opportunity just to explain a little bit to you. Here's, here's the overview, if you like. If you can see that, um, the top one here is the National Natural and Built Environments Act. That's one we're talking about today. There's the Strategic Planning Act, and then there's the Climate Adaptation Act. So you can, if you want to uh, get a copy of this as a document, an overview, uh, then just let NZR know and we'll get that sent through to you. So we're dealing with the National Natural and Built Environments Act. Uh, and that's what's up for consultation at the moment. Um, submissions are open, uh, have been open for a handful of weeks now. It's a very short submission process and time frame, I should say. Uh, and that closes at 11.59 on Wednesday at PM on Wednesday, the 4th of August. So we have very small window in which to get our um, submissions in. So what do we need to submit? Well, let's be honest. When the National Party, and I'm not politicising this, it just happened to be the government at the time, uh, chose in 2012 and then through 2015 and acted a, um, a restriction, if you like, of any council anywhere in New Zealand. They were not able to provide blanket, pre pre blanket tree protection provisions within their area of control. So that has just scuppered the uh, urban forest uh, immensely. I've talked to a lot of you around New Zealand and uh, there's a lot of chainsaws being sharpened, but for not good measure. I mean, once a tree's gone, you can't keep pruning it. So you, you, you know, from a, a fiscal sense, it's not wise to remove trees, right? uh, let alone the benefits that they provide, mature trees, et cetera. And I don't need to tell you all those benefits because we, we know them well. So this, uh, this opportunity in front of us is to ensure that the government hears our industry voice and many, many others. Uh, hears our industry voice uh, about the need to protect the urban forest and most importantly, to enable the act to have provisions in it to ensure urban tree protection uh, becomes a reality further down the track. So it's extremely important, guys. RMA, 30 years, it, it, got, it got chopped, for want of a better term, and now it's been replaced um, with, uh, with these three acts, uh, one of them which we're dealing with today. So can I implore you, please, to visit Stop the Chop, uh, which is a vehicle that we've created. We did it last time. Um, when, uh, when the provisions got uh, got canned, we're doing it again using the same vehicle, stop the chop. Some people have said it's an Auckland scenario. It's not, I just happen to live in Auckland and that's the, and you know we have a lot of connections up here. So this is a national program. It's a national effect, it's a national impact and it will be impacting you. And if you do care about the retention of mature trees uh, throughout the country in your town and, and wider, then get, on, get onto the website, www.stopthechop.co.nz, www.stop the chop.co.nz, get in there, follow the process, make a submission, and because this could last for the next 30 years. Thanks for your time, guys. We'll be speaking to you soon. Go stop the chop.